Hello everybody, this is Vasvi from At Home. In the previous video, we learned few basic fundamental concepts about sets, right? So here in this video too, I am just continuing with it. The first one you should know is subset. What is a subset? A set A is said to be a subset of set B if every element of A is also an element of B. So what does that mean? Imagine you have a set A as 1 and 2, okay, 1 comma 2 and I have another set B which has 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here as per the definition it says set A is said to be the subset of set B if every element of set A, here the elements are 1 and 2, if every element of set A is also in set B. You can see this elements in set B. Set B has few more elements but here whatever A has got the same elements you can find in B also. In that case you can say that set A is a subset of B and you write it in this form. Okay. So what does that say? Set A is a subset of B if whenever the element a okay the small a represents the element a and the big a represents the set the a is an element of set a and the a is also in set b in case uh, instead of b having all these numbers if you have b as see if a and b are the same set okay same set means the elements should be same right like this two comma one okay or 1 comma 2 whatever the order is not important if they are the same set equal set which we learned already in that case I can say A is a subset of B and B is a subset of A okay so if A and B are same you can say that each of them is the subset of the other or if each of them if one set is a subset of the other and uh, that set, set is a subset of this. You can say that, you can know that the two sets are equal. Next is about the intervals. If this is given, okay, the, here you have a box bracket A comma B and close parentheses means it has got elements X where, where X is greater than or equal to A and less than B. So here what it says this is an open interval from A to B because it, it includes A here it is it includes so it is closed but here the B is excluded okay look at the next one this one is closed it is normal parentheses on next to A and here it is box bracket in that case this side on your right it is closed so the B is included but A is excluded. It starts from A but A is not included in it. And okay I'll show that in this picture so that it is much more clear. See here it is both side it is open okay. Here also it is normal parenthesis and here also it is. So it means any value in between A and B okay. Only the values in between A and B. Here A is excluded and B is excluded. Understood? Here, one side it is normal parenthesis and the other one is a box bracket. That means this side it is closed. So, you include B also. Okay. And uh, it is more than A but less than or equal to B. So, here I can say X is greater than A but less than B. Both A and B are not included in this case. Here it is open at A. So you can say it is less than A but B is included. So it is less than or equal to B. Understood? Here A is included but B is not included. If it is a dark circle then it is included. Okay. So it is A less than or equal to X. And the other one is open. So you just write less than B. Here both sides it is closed. So I can say A is less than or equal to X. Which is less than or equal to B. Understood? So here both A as well as 
V is included. The next one is power set. So what is a power set? The collection of all subsets of a set A is called the power set of A. Okay, the power set. You call the power set as P of A. Say for instance, you have a set. Set A has 1 and 2. So let us write the subsets of A. So the subsets of A is going to be a null set, 1, 2 and the set itself. Okay, so we normally get uh, 4 because you have 2 elements. So the number of subset you can make can be formed using this formula. You could know how many subsets you will have by using this formula. Here you, you would put the number of elements in A, 2 raised to that. Okay, so you, you have 2. So totally you, 2 raised to 2 is 4. See, you have 4 subsets here. Okay, so if uh, this, all the subsets, that is the pi, 1, 2, 1 comma 2. All this is put inside a flower bracket, right? In, with it uh, braces. Then this set is the power set of A. Okay? The power set of A will contain all the subsets of A. Got it? Yeah. Next is the universal set. Universal set contains all objects and elements. Okay? Of all the sets. How much of sets you have. All will be included in this. Say for instance, imagine you have a set A as 1 comma 2. Set B is 7 comma 8. And I write set C as 2 comma 4. And you will have a universal set which has got all of these numbers. Maybe it is from 0 to 10. So you will have the elements of A in this. You will have the elements of B. Elements of C. All these elements will be included in the universal set. So it contains all objects or elements. Understood? Okay, I have taken two questions just for you to understand about the subset. So here they have given you set A as 1, 2 and the third element is set 3, 4. Okay, it is not 3, 4. 3 comma 4 is taken as one element here and comma 5. Now you have to say which of the following statements are incorrect. Okay and why? Here the first question says set 3 comma 4. Is it a subset of A? They say 3 comma 4 is a subset of A. No, it is not a subset. It is an element of A. Right? The whole thing within the brace it is the element. So this is no. And you have to give the reason. 3 comma 4 is an element of A. Not the subset. Now the second question they say. 3 comma 4 is an element. Yeah it is an element. Right. Just now we said it is an element. So I can say yes. The third one. They put the element with set 3 comma 4 within the braces and say it is a subset of A. Now it is right. Okay. Yes. This is a subset of A because from here to here it is element and that you put within the braces then it is a subset. Okay. Then 1 is an element of A. Is 1 an element of A? Yeah. It is. Okay. Yes. You can see the 1 in A. 1 is a subset of A. No. 1 is not a subset of A. Which is a subset of A? If you put that in within braces and say, then this is a subset of A. Not this. Okay. Uh, the braces are missing. So you can't call it a, a set at all. It is an element, not a set. The sixth one, they say 1, 2, 5 within the braces so that's a subset of a yes it is if it is yes you needn't give reason if it is no alone you have to give reason okay this is the reason okay now one two and five is an element of a no you can't call it an element when you put it within the braces it is no more an element so this is no they are not elements okay they are set. It is the set given. So you can't call it an element. 
The next one is 1, 2, 3 is a subset of A. Oh, you have two questions here. Sorry. 1, 2, 3 is a subset of A. No, you can't take 3 separate from this. Okay. 3, 4. The set 3, 4 is a single element. You can't separate the 3 from it. So, this is not possible. No. And here, ninth one, they say 5 is an, uh, the null set, okay, is an element of A. It is not an element of A. It is a subset of A, right? So, this is no because it's not an element. It is not an element of A. The null set is a subset of A. That is right. And you can't put... See, if you you can, to show a null set, you can either use the phi or you use the braces. You can't use both together, okay? Then it becomes another set. So, this is also not possible. No. So, are you clear with this? Okay, let us go on to the next question. Make correct statements by filling the symbols subset or not a subset in the blanks. Okay, they have given you. You just say whether it is a subset or not. 2, 3, 4 is a subset of, yeah, it is a subset, right? From this set, you can take 2, 3, 4 and you can frame a separate set. So, it is a subset. A, B, C is a subset of B, C, D. No, it can't be because A is not in this set, right? So, it is not a subset. Now, uh, C, I tell you, the subset should be a part of the set given on your right okay here this set is not a part of this because here you have a and in this set you don't have a so you cannot call it a subset it is a set x is a, a student of class 11 of your school and the next uh, set is x is a student of your school yeah of course here this set is big right it has got all the students of your school here you it has got the student in the 11th grade so, the student in the 11th grade would be included in this. So, it is a subset. Okay. Now, here, x is a circle in the plane. And here in, the, in this set, it is given, x is a circle in the same plane with radius 1 unit. Here, you cannot say it is a subset because in a plane, just imagine you have a circle with 1 unit here. And you can have a circle somewhere else, right? So, that doesn't mean that this circle should be within this. So, it is not. Okay. It is not a subset. See, the, the set on your left should be included in the set of, on the right. Only then you can call it subset. Okay. X is a triangle in a plane. This set says X is a rectangle in plane. The same reason I gave you here. You may have a rectangle on one side and this triangle somewhere else. So, they are not... Uh, subset okay it doesn't mean that it should be within the rectangle the next one is they say on your left it is given x is an equilateral triangle in a plane and this side they say x is a triangle so see when they just say triangle it can have equilateral triangle right angle triangle acute angle triangle whatever it can be but since this is one type of a triangle you can say it is a subset okay now here i said it is not okay sorry yeah and the last one x is an even natural number and this side they say x is an integer so it is an integer even natural numbers will be included in the integer right so you can say this is also a subset so i just repeat uh, if a is a subset of b all that is in a should be in B also. Okay. Hope this video was useful to you. Bye.